In this video, we'll see how to download Excel add-ins for HP ALM. Now, why we need this Excel add-ins? Suppose if you want to import some requirements, test cases or defects, which are already written in the Excel file, you need some add-in, you need some connection part with HP ALM. So there are various methods to download this Excel add-ins. I'll show you the easiest method how to download from this HP website itself, the application which you're using. So let us see practically about downloading Excel add-ins. Now, in order to download the Excel add-in for HP LM, you have to first come on this window. You have to use this URL that is localhost 8080 QC bin. If you're working on some other host that the server is on some other place, this URL will change. After that, you're already aware about this screen that is ALM desktop client lab management. We were working earlier in this ALM desktop client. But right now, I'll click on this tools link because I'm interested in downloading the Excel add-in. So after you click on this place, there are different options which are available. Make sure you click on more HP ALM add-ins. And then on the left hand side, whichever version of ALM you're using or whichever version of QC you're using. So you can select that particular link and then you can jump to that place. Right now I'm working on HP ALM 12.53 version. That's this one. So I'll just scroll down till I find the Excel add-in. And this one you can see here. Yeah. So if you observe here add-ins for HP application, I have for Sprinter, I have for Quick Test Professional, I have for Unified Functional Testing. And if I scroll down, I'll be getting a separate add-ins for Microsoft applications, which will help me to download the add-in for Word, for the Microsoft Excel and Business View for Microsoft Excel. So right now I want to download this Microsoft Excel add-in. So I'll just simply click on this place. So it will navigate me to some other page. Why? Because Excel add-in are used for different purposes for different versions. So if you see here, Microsoft Excel add-in, it says get it. So if I scroll down and if you observe here, the very first add-in is Microsoft Excel add-in 14.0 SAS only. That is the size 7.2 MB. And on this particular date, it has been released. I'm not working on a SAS product, so I'll not download this one. I'll scroll down. And if you observe Microsoft Excel add in 12.53 and higher. So I'm working on this area 12.53. I'll be using the same one below. If you see there's installation instructions and there are also some notes which are given here. And if you keep on scrolling, you can find out many different add ins based on different versions and their compatibility with different products. So I'll not take it longer. I'll just go to this place. Microsoft Excel add in 12.53 and higher and I'll click on this get it. So when I click on this get it, I'll be navigated to next page. I'll be getting this dialog box which says, do you want to open or do you want to save or do you want to save as? So I'll simply say as I want to click on the save. So this file would be a zip file of 14 MB and it would be downloaded. So if you see it is downloading, what is the name of the file which will be downloaded? The name of the file is 767645.zip file. So within few seconds, it will be downloaded. Yeah, so it is downloaded here. And if I want, I can just click on open. If I want, I'll just click on this open folder. So when I click on this open folder, you can see here in the downloads folder, I have this file that is 7645. Uh, that's the add-in which is inside that particular zip file. So I hope you have understood how to download the Excel add-in. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to install the Excel add-in. That's all for this video.